I just, I would never think in terms of, of what I would look for in a paper now. Now I read the paper every day every to day. look for business. Looking for potential. <laughs> looking for potential. Looking for potential. This well, guy look has at, done that. It's amazing. Yeah. The person and for the opportunity. Yes, and for the opportunity. Absolutely. With everything that's been going on in the banking industry, the auto industry, I mean, there's been so much whacking yeah. of, of executives. Did, yeah. does, did that ripple, make a ripple effect for your firm or, or you didn't feel it? Well, look, it? obviously uh, our revenue were down for the past uh, few quarters. It, it, it's looking better now and I'm happy to say that we're seeing that there are, um, uh, the numbers are better. Uh, but I think what's, what's been sad for us in search is to see the number of people who are coming to us and really feeling sort of desperate about what do they do now and whether they can go to another industry and, you know. Talking about it, candidates now, candidates. not, not, uh, not right. firms, not right. corporations, right. candidates, yeah. No, no, it's, those are sad human stories that we hear. You must, and yeah. You, yeah, we try to listen to those, but at the same time be encouraging. But more importantly, be encouraging in the sense that we will get through this. And I think, yes. uh, you know, I've play, I played someone a couple of weeks ago who I first saw about uh, 12 months ago, 14 months ago. And it was a wonderful, wonderful placement. And meanwhile, he and his wife have had a baby, just had a baby. So he was very happy that the job came through. You kept him in the same industry? Kept or? him in the same industry. But he will be moving out of state. He will be moving to New Jersey. So now a client uh, gets in touch with, with you and says, OK, we're looking for someone. And yeah. then, you know, you extract from the client everything, the profile you need, and this and that. Now you do your search. You narrow, you, do you, how does it work, the search? You narrow it down first to 50, then 25, then 10, then 5, or how does it work? Where well, yeah, it? sometimes it can go from 50 to 25, then, but you start with an inverted triangle. You know, you, you want to present as many clients as you can, as many candidates as you can to the client who fit the bill. The client makes a determination as you take them through various parts of that triangle to see at the end a specific number. It can be eight, it can be five, it could be ten. But we get it from this to But that. I would think the more candidates, the, the less accurate uh, their, their, the, the description about their qualification. If you have 50 guys, can you do a thorough uh, description of, of the 50 people for yeah, your client? Absolutely. absolutely. Oh, you absolutely. can do Yeah, that. and in not-for-profit, it is very common to talk to a wide number of people and 50 people is sort of the ordinary. Between 25 and 50 people is oh, ordinary. Really? Oh, really? It's yeah, ordinary. Absolutely. absolutely. University president, you'd start off with something like 50 names of different people, provost of universities. I mean, in the banking industry, you know, there are, it would be less because you're looking for a specific job. There's specific organizations you want to target. And more important, there may be specific people. Right. A silly question. The people you submit, they're all submitted with their consent, meaning that they're all ready to jump ship if they're employed or get into the job if, right. if they're taken, right? Yeah, right. It's not yeah. like you take They're interested. People. They're all interested. Right. Which means that somehow you have to let these guys know about the job before you let the job know about these people. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're going to present a person, you want to be sure that the person is interested. Yeah. If you don't want to present a lot of people and then none of them are interested. Uh, but Did I think- you mention the company and everything? Yeah. Or you, oh, yes, it's the you're, job you're, and the compensation yeah. if necessary. But we sell the opportunity, you right. know. But we also um, go to a client and say there are this many people who we think have the background who may be right for the job without having talked to the client and reduce the number that way. But most of the time, we, we have a general discussion, an initial discussion with the, um, with the candidate. With the candidate. Oh, yeah, our potential candidate, absolutely. So in an ideal, in the end, in an ideal situation, the client has to, what, one, two, three? One is not ideal, actually. Two, three, four to choose from, five? No, it, no I think ideally, the client ought to choose from five to seven. Five to seven. I think, yeah. Five to seven potential. Yeah. It's, it's strong. Huge. It's and that's huge. what you call the, the sort of sort of finalist, you know? The finalist. And then it gets down to 
two right. and one. But uh, it starts generally with, with five to seven. Yeah, it's an inverted you always triangle. Think it's an know. inverted triangle. Think of it that way. Yeah. And when you get to the five to seven, are you, yeah. do you think that by your qualification you are, uh, you are decisive in the final choice of the client or, or you just uh, take a back seat once you get to five to seven? Take a back seat and let the client really decide. I, de I never <coughs> take my hand. You don't take a back seat? I don't never, no, I never take my hand off it. I mean, I... I presented this client, and I'm very interested in seeing it be a successful search. So I'm with it until the client makes the decision. I want the client to make the decision. It, it's it's the marriage that I'm as you going back to Match.com. It's the marriage that I've been 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 working on. But the client ultimately makes the decision. My job is to counsel and to support and to answer questions and to get information, but to be as resourceful as I can in the process. You know, the interesting thing about search is, you know, in the beginning I didn't understand it, but it really is an incredible um, profession because it, it, it's real work, it's meaningful work, it's, it's, it's art and it's science. There's an art to really bringing people together, but there's a science when you talk about um, um, skill base, when you talk about experience, when you talk about a personality you know, personal characteristics, you know? Yes. So it's a, it's a, it's a great profession. I love it. Um, I'm really happy, and you love it. We don't have much time left. Do you have a great memory that you'd like to share with us? Something, you know, when in, your, in your executive search? I mean, the first person who I placed in, a, in an opportunity is now the president and CEO of one of the major foundations in the United States. That was your very first search? First search. That makes for an amazing memory. It does. Nat Sutton, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, was Nat Sutton, Vice Chairman and Partner of Hydric and Struggles, an executive search firm with offices all over the world. I say thank you to you all. Thanks, Mike, Mario, Rich. Next time, we're going to have a little different uh, program because I'll have two paparazzis coming on, on board, coming on the show, a photographer and a videographer. I say till next time. Bye. Thank you.